Hello everyone. Today we're here at Legoland Florida for Lego Ninjago Days. This goes on the last weekend of January and the first two weekends of February. There's all sorts of fun, special stuff going on around the park. So are you ready to be a ninja today? This is my ninja move. Chop, 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 chop. Let's go ninja. Special things going on include ninja dining, the ninja kitchen, there are also shows and activities. Oh, there's some annual pass holder perks. I'll have to check that out. For pass holders, they're giving you a Ninjago Days ninja headband that you can put on and be an official ninja. Always good to get some pass holder swag. And you pick your gifts up right here at the Lego factory experience and there's someone standing like right in the doorway who will give them to you. They're showing the Ninjago 4D movie here at the Legoland Funtown Theater. All over the park there are tables with Lego spread out on them where you can build with different activities going on. People are having a lot of fun with it. It's always fun to see Miniland. I love to check out NASA, Kennedy Space Center. I especially love their vehicle assembly building back there and the whole complex. They have a little astronaut in there. Walking around, got the NASA ball there. Since we're here, we gotta wait for this launch now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We've got the main engine start. We have. to live. The Mini World's like probably the coolest Lego part of the park. I think probably especially for adults just because a lot of us grew up playing with Legos. A lot of us still collect and build Lego pieces and also just appreciating what it takes to build these and after having met master lego builders i have a far greater appreciation for how awesome these are the displays have buttons you can press that make things happen this one makes the little monkeys make noise and swing around oh look we can ready aim fire Woo! get it sam get it get it This one says bust a move. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're busting a move. The little break dancers. All right, let's do it again. There they go. Just bust a move. Watch out if you press this button because uh, my feet almost got squirted. Oh boy, we are sure having a fun day at Legoland, huh Sam? We're at New York. De Da, 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 da. Rockefeller Center. Yeah, Rockefeller Center. How about we go to Washington? Okay, let's go. Oh, look, a marching band. Oh, what fun. This is a great vacation, huh? This is the best time ever. Whee! We get to see all these sights from all over the country. I've and never been here before. No, me neither. I like it though. It looks like mini golf or something behind us. Welcome to Wild oh. Woods Golf. Oh, well, there Unlike you go. Unlike the zoo, all the animals here watch you play. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Since we're here for Ninjago days, let's go into Ninjago land. Got to pay our respects to Master Wu, of course. Hello, Master. All of the elements are represented here. And here on the element of water, we're just chilling, right, Sam? We're just chilling. Yeah. We made it to the Jago land. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to explore. We're going to explore Ninjago land. Earth me. Become one with the rhythmic force of nature in this energetic show.
Sam, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I am always hungry. I see the Ninja Kitchen here. They've got some specialty stuff for Ninjago days. We have to try it. I feel like it's special Lego food just for us Lego people. Let's go get some. This looks like a yummy menu right up my alley. Egg rolls, spring rolls, pot stickers, bao buns, chicken wings. Lunch is served. We've got the bao bun in the middle, pot stickers on the left, and spring rolls on the right. Let's get to chowing. Let's start with a pot sticker. Usually can't go wrong with them. They're delicious always. Try the bao. It feels sufficiently soft and squishy as it should be. The barbecue sauce is really good. It's actually nice and tasty. There's uh, bees everywhere, so. Calm, calm. Stay calm. They just want a bite of the bao bun. Anyway, the barbecue sauce is very good. I like it. The spring rolls are good too. They're really small. Um, and they're, they just taste like a normal like little spring roll. They're good. Yeah, yeah I think the bao bun's the best and then um, the pot sticker's second best. You want a bite, bro? Ninjago the ride, shall we? No! 20 minute wait time on a Saturday, not bad. Get in here, Sam. Whoa, cool. Andy, get some Lego. Andy, get some Lego action in here. There you are. Woo! Oh my gosh, how cool. Like our feet are stepping. here of your image and it's like bricks and as you move around it moves too. That's fun. Here's the instruction. So move your hand forward, not sideways. So just forward. Okay, we got this. We got this. There we go. Ready? Ride, huh, Sam? That was great. Felt like we were ninjas. We chop, were... chop, chop. Chop, chop. Let's go see some more stuff. We ride some more rides. Let's go. Woo! Elemental Master Show goes on at 1:33 and 4:30, and it sounds like it's going on right now. Now you too can begin mastering your elemental powers of Earth. we just rode flying school is a holdover from Cypress Gardens. It opened in 2004 and it used to be called Swamp Thing. 
Yeah, Swamp Thing. Yeah, fact checking with Sam. What do you mean? Oh, I just wanted to make sure it was Swamp Thing. Yeah, Swamp Thing. Okay, thanks. Um, and it's a very fun coaster, and you do it twice because it's so short. I guess they want to make it a longer experience. Just to note, there are size restraints on this. You have to be a certain height, you know, tall-wise. But also, if you're too tall, this may be uncomfortable for you. The seat restraints come down over your shoulders, and they're, they go all the way up to the sides of your head. So our heads were, like, rocking back and forth and hitting on both sides which was a little uncomfortable but all in all still a very fun ride very comfortable deep seat to sit in and it was just fun like gliding it wasn't very fast and it doesn't go upside down or anything it just kind of glides around and it goes twice i think we should go have some more fun look at how beautiful the water looks today glistening with the spanish moss hanging in the sun filtering through i love this part of the park as we get closer to the old cypress garden. We've come upon the pirate show going on. Water ski shows have been going on since the early days of this park when it was Cypress Garden, so it's awesome that they carry this tradition forward with a fun new Lego twist. Legoland without paying a visit to Cypress Gardens. It's all the way in the back of the park and you're greeted by a Lego version of one of the Southern Bells who used to be so important to the landscape here at Cypress Gardens. If you want some info on Cypress Gardens and its history, Sam Expedition Theme Park has an awesome video about it. I watched his video before I visited last time to like get get a refresher on the history of Cypress Garden. That was one of my first videos, I think. So yeah, yeah. It's a really interesting story. It really is. It's a really cool story and it's a really important part of like Florida and tourism history and this whole area and it ties into like Disney and all the other theme parks. The World's Fair. Yeah, everything. yeah. Come on, let's go have a stroll. Okay. So peaceful and beautiful back here and it's usually pretty quiet compared to the rest of the park. The beautifully manicured lawn is reminiscent of the history of this area when it was lined with southern bells greeting guests to this park. Oh look, there's one now. When you're back here in the Cypress Gardens area, you can feel that peaceful, relaxing, old Florida feel. You can almost picture guests here dressed in their 1930s theme park best strolling the lawns and having a lovely Saturday out with the family. There's just something so nostalgic about it. And what could be more iconic to Cypress Gardens and nostalgic to this area than the Southern Bells? I love that they keep these Lego Southern Bells here as a nod to Cypress Gardens. And this beautiful gazebo with a satellite on top. Let's walk inside again. I always kind of walk inside when I'm in here just for a second, just to say, Echo! Legoland! In Cypress Gardens. Let's keep strolling. She sits there all day, elegant, regal, and poised, waiting to greet guests and remind them of Florida's history. Here is this large, beautiful, famous 
banyan tree. This is a pretty good view of it right here. We can almost take it all in, but the roots spread everywhere. It's so beautiful. I found a rose bush. Oh, and I can hear the boats out there. Quintessential Florida. We walked all the way to the back to see the Florida shaped pool. And I don't quite remember if there were fountains on last time I saw it, but there are now. Hi. <laughs> I love how people on boats always wave back. It's like a thing. The Florida pool, as it's called, is shaped like the peninsula of Florida. It was built by MGM Studios as a set for the 1953 Esther Williams movie, Easy to Love, and hundreds of short features all over the country. We're filmed back here. Could the sky be any bluer today? This is, this is what it's about right here. These are the most beautiful days in Florida. Absolutely perfect. Bye Banyan Tree, we love you. Keep growing and bringing life and shade and happiness and joy. And we'll see you next time. We'll come say hi every time we're here. It's always nice to see that the Cypress Gardens area is so nicely preserved and still here to enjoy. And even though it's less crowded than the rest of the park, there are a lot of people back here enjoying it. Families and all sorts of people taking photos and enjoying the peace and quiet and nature. I love that it's still valued and that it's still here and such an important part of Florida history is preserved here at Legoland. So keep it up, Legoland. Wow, cool. Oh yeah, Land Day Sea Life Aquarium, so it is. Yeah, I was just there the other day at Icon Orlando with the wheel and Madame Tussauds and Orlando Sea Life. Oh, what fun living in Orlando. Oh, and just as an extra bit of info for you guys, on February 15th, there's gonna be the Orlando Wine Festival at Icon Park. There's gonna be set up behind the wheel and in front of the wheel. And if you want $5 off tickets for that, you can get those using code SUPER, and I'll put the link to that down below. Just to, like another fun thing going on in Orlando to know about. Pirates, beware. No, they tried to trick me. Rascals. You see the, uh... Just take a quick stroll through Lego Movie World. I haven't been here since pretty much it first opened. Even though it's a bright blue day. Doesn't look like a ton of people are choosing to get soaked today. Oh I'm getting a little tired, are you? This is a big park. This is a really big park. It's a lot to walk. Woo! Come on. Just a little bit more. One of the specialty treats of Ninjago Days is the candy sushi, and you can get it here at the coffee shop up by the front of Legoland, like by the entrance, and we gotta try it, right? All right, Sam, do the honors. Ta-da. And so instead of soy sauce, we've got chocolate sauce that it comes with. Fish. And basically, yeah, it's like um, jelly gummy fish, chocolate sauce, Rice Krispie treats, and wrapped in fruit leather. I guess it's supposed to be wasabi. Yeah and ginger, and this is like just a little more fruit leather. Mm. All right, go for it. Mm. Try it first without the chocolate sauce. A nice rice crispy treat with some fruit candy around it and like gummy worm fishies in the middle. Let's try it with chocolate. Everything's better with chocolate. And then the big pieces have Swedish fish wrapped in them. And the gummy candies and the others are like a little, got a little spiciness to them. They're, they're good. It's very chewy. There's a lot of chewing going on because of the gummy and the fruit leather. The uh, wasabi green crunchy ball, I guess I'll be the one to eat that. That's not what I expected. It looked like a piece of cereal. Um, it tasted like 
Rice Krispie Treat. Uh -huh. Like marshmallowy, chewy, like a smushed up Rice Krispie Treat. Ooh, just, just not what I expected. I think that after today, I can now remove this from my neck where I've been wearing it all day while I was training to be a ninja. And place it upon my person, like so. And dub myself an official Lego ninja. Hopefully I've proved my Lego ninja stuff today. Enjoying Ninjago days, the first day that this is going on. As a reminder, this will be going on for the first two weekends of February, so it's a limited event. So if you wanna check it out, now is the time. They do other limited events like this, like Pirates Weekend and other things like that, which you can find out on the Legoland website, and I will try to cover them whenever I can get out here because it's fun to see the different themed events going on. You guys know I love it, and I love sharing it with you. Is, is there a ninja behind me? Mm, that was a very stealthy ninja move. Get out here! Did you have a fun day at Ninjago Days? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's a lot to do. Yeah, a lot Some to do. Interesting food to try. Yeah, we tried the candy sushi. Yeah. That was interesting. It's a very light, simple snack, and I liked that. And it was only $5, so fair enough. Yeah. We went on the ride. It was definitely an arm workout. But it was yeah, so it was like, oh, my arms. I really feel like we've become ninjas. Yeah, that's what I was just telling them. I put oh, on my wow. uh, ninja. Sorry. I was stealthing. But... Yeah, you were ninjaing and I was ninjaing. So I guess we're ninjas. My ninjas. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to take our ninja skills back out into the world and see what kind of ninjaing we can do out there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the Super Enthused channel, subscribe for weekly adventures and check out Sam Expedition Theme Park for wonderful documentary type informational videos on theme parks. You summed it up. I did, right? That was pretty good. <laughs> we'll see you next time and as always, stay ninja and stay enthused. Yeah!